Hey, welcome to another thing. As you can tell, how about the ones with the magnets on the bottom? And I use like a fork, so when I paint, I don't have to hold anything. I can just, as I paint, I can just really just put, put it on the fork, hold it up, and I can get the sides in the air without having to get my arm like this. See? This way, it avoids me getting messy. How to paint clean, but making sure you don't get paint all over you. Because, you know, that's the way it is. Especially if you got like a cat or a dog, you still gotta paint. And the way I take it off, I take it off. Oh, 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 let me set up the camera. So I'm picking it up. As you can tell, we are painting. Here we go. A base gray. This is the base gray stuff. I like to make sure. I could have started with a white, make a marble checkered, but you know. But. My adventures are gonna like us because I wanna make sure they see details, details. And see, I'm not have to hold it because that magnet holds it in place, so I don't have to. So I can just concentrate on getting the paint where it needs to go. And I can turn it if I want it off. Use the end like so, and there you go. And I just move it to a drying location somewhere on my mat. Using a fork is a good thing. So we look over here. We can tell I've been doing this for those. Mmm. Here we go. More painting tips. We need more paints. But as you can tell, I want to make sure even that one painting is coming along great uh, with the red ambitions. Although I may throw a gloss on it or something. Just so the paint job lasts a little bit longer, give it a matte finish. I just haven't decided. Alright, if you like the video, hit the like. If you dislike it, please hit the dislike. If you'd like to leave a comment, please leave a comment. I, I need more comments. Apart from that, everything else, I will give you farewell.